I've been listening on how the way you guys made the view and your observation based on this book. Now, I haven't read the book yet. I just purchased the book. And I already knew that the book was going to be about his life story and his side of the version as being raised in the monarchy. And he always thought that he was a black sheep of the family. And he always did things encourageable to society and humanitarian, just like his mother. You know, Diana, Prince Diana, the late great Princess Diana, her book was in 1997. And she basically talked about how she was living in the monarchy and how her marriage was not even a marriage. She claimed that the marriage was based on she being the third wheel. Meaning that Charles was on one side and Camilla was on the other and she was the, she was the wheel. And when Charles wanted to be greased and oiled, he just basically told her whatever she had to do. And to be mindful, she married, to be mindful, she married him at an early age. So he thought that he could manipulate her and use her until she started to rebel and become strong and become that woman that she was. And she did have an affair because of the fact that he was neglecting his duties as a man. He made her feel like she was just only there to be the wife, to be the princess for him to get his crown and also to be the mother to make an heir. And that was it. The part I don't understand is some of the certain black British people in the UK, how they coming in and coming after him and Meghan before when Queen, Queen Elizabeth was alive. Everybody did not accept the fact that Camilla had came in and broke up the relationship between Charles and then wanted to be crowned, um, be married to Charles. Everybody started calling her all kinds of names. Soon as the queen died and Charles reigned the throne, everybody's sitting there trying to be biased, including the black people in the community of the UK. The, you know, you guys forgot the history, how the British people had treated you guys in the UK especially when your ancestors came from a boat called Windwash and the scandal of the immigration, how they were sending you guys back to native lands that some of y'all didn't even remember. Only your ancestors lived. This is the thing I, my advice to Prince Harry and Meghan is to gather up them stuff. Forget about the title because the title is a low class form of the title man and just gather up your stuff and just go somewhere just re remote and just be with your family and live happily ever after. And you shall have your peace. My book is still out there. It's called The Divine is Risen. Our ancestors are calling you. You can see it on Barnes and Nobles and Amazon. And I'll give you further updates of the, my upcoming book called The Vampires of Whitney Manor. Take care, guys.